We obsess over our life expectancy. 70 years, maybe 100. We measure health by steps walked, calories burned, heartbeats tracked. We drink green juices, download mindfulness apps, and chase longevity because we're scared of time, of losing it, of running out. But here's a question we rarely ask. What is the Earth's life expectancy? Because Earth isn't just a place, it's a living system. And like all living things, it can age, it can hurt, it can die. Welcome to a journey that will shift your perspective forever. We're not just talking science. We're peeling back the layers of time, scale, and survival. We're diving into a world where a two-day life feels like forever, and a hundred-year life barely scratches the surface. This isn't just a video. It's a wake-up call, a mirror, a challenge. Brace yourself, because what you're about to witness may just change how you see the world and your place in it. Let's zoom in to the soil, an ant, several days. That's her entire life, to be born, build, forage, flee and die. A gust of wind is a hurricane, a raindrop, a flood. Every second is survival. She doesn't delay, she doesn't dream of someday. She moves, reacts, adapts, because there is no later. Now shift upward, to us, humans. 100 years if we're lucky. Decades, not days. Time feels abundant, so we delay. We scroll, we binge, we say not now, tomorrow, next year. But unlike the ant, we have imagination. We have intelligence. We can see cause and effect. But we often live like we'll never face consequences. Now zoom out, far beyond, Earth, 4.5 billion years old. She survived meteors, mass extinctions, shifting continents, erupting volcanoes. She has healed from disasters that would destroy us in minutes. But what she faces now is different, because it's coming from within her skin, from us, in just 200 years a microsecond in her timeline. We've altered everything. Her air, her water, her rhythm, her balance. If Earth had a medical report, it would read, critical condition. Carbon dioxide spiking past 420 parts per million. Global temperatures rising. Forests falling by the minute. Oceans turning acidic choking on plastic, wildlife vanishing, species we'll never meet again. We say save the Earth like it's a charity case, but the truth is, the Earth will survive. It's us who won't, and here's the twist. We are the only species that can stop this. Not because we live the longest, not because we're the strongest, but because we're the only ones who can see the future and still ignore it. Trees can't tweet, the oceans can't protest, but we can. We can build, innovate, choose. We've created energy from wind, from sun, from waves. We've made plastic alternatives, cities that breathe, forests reborn. We have the tools, we have the knowledge. What we lack is urgency. But there is hope, youth rising, movements growing, ideas multiplying. We are the only species capable of changing the course, the only one who can make tomorrow better than today. The ant doesn't know what's coming, but we do. We have 100 years, a single breath in Earth's lungs. And in that breath we decide, will we be her illness or her cure? The Earth will live on with us or without us. So, what will you choose? But before you scroll away, ask yourself this. What if our greatest invention wasn't a machine? 
what awareness? What if our real legacy isn't monuments, but mindfulness? The future doesn't arrive fully formed. We build it, choice by choice. So pause, think, and act, because the Earth's clock is still ticking, and the final chapter is still being written by you. And if this message moved you, let it move someone else too. Like, subscribe, and share. Because here, we don't just explain science, we make science make sense.